So Martin, we're here at Mac 2018, and this is the premiere of the NLX 2500 with this particular automation system. What is it that makes it so new? I mentioned uh, to a number of customers, this uh, is a solid base that we've uh, generated. We've made it a lot more compact. Uh, we've added a few more to the size uh, range of uh, automations that we have. So we start off with a five kilo, plus uh, two five kilo billets. Uh, go all the way up to 30 kilo for the different size. Uh, simple control. Uh, we have a remote pendant, as you can see, on the control just for a quick setting up. But everything is driven from the machine control by one of the apps of the CLOS. How long is that set up? If you're going from one billet size to another, how long would that take? Um, well, it's just like changing over any uh, job on a lathe. You have to change the chuck jaws and any tooling, so you can uh, look at that side. But the robot itself, you have uh, central petal um, pallets on the unit. So you move one, all of them come together. So if it's a billet, it's very simple and quick to come down to those positions. You just need to tell it the height and diameter of the part, uh, make sure the robot grippers can uh, grab hold of the parts and push the green button to go. The gantry loader, is it one of your products or, or is it a, a, a vended product? No, it's one of ours. We uh, do provide uh, vended products, as you've mentioned, uh, a whole range of those. Um, and we've uh, been uh, sort of enhancing our own to make them more uh, friendly and integrated into the machine. Yeah, what I like about the gantry style, you're, uh, you know, these six axis robots, they've got their place, don't get me wrong, but these, you're using space. It's a, you know, there's no premium on space going up into the sky, is there? No, there are a few very small places that uh, find it very tight with the height of the uh, machine and the gantry. But my, my point it, being, you're not, you know, you're paying for floor space. It's, it's a very ergonomic, small footprint for the cell. Yeah, you're not having to move anything out of the way. You can gain straight access to the front of the machine, so your setup is still uh, exactly as you would like to see it. And when it comes to loading the uh, machine with the gantry, you can actually watch it do it rather than from behind a fence uh, further away. In the NLX, it's been around for quite some time, but yeah. if you can just give me the, the, you know, the highlights of this machine, what, what would they be? Highlights of this machine, the big heavy boxway uh, stability, the accuracy of this machine, um, the bolt-on turret uh, configuration, built-in motor turret, uh, this and the flexibility with the various sort of main spindle, uh, counter spindle options. It's a real solid base from where we've uh, been building. And the Cellus Control, of course. The Cellus Control has now been around for a few years and we're expanding its use right across the uh, range of machines that uh, we manufacture. And as you walk around the show here, you'll see that uh, every machine has the Cellus version or a version of it uh, on the machine. I know when I walk around not only your stand but other stands, the biggest jump hasn't been the machine tool in the last two years, it's been the connectivity and the automation. Is it, do you see that in your client base? Very much so. Uh, we've noticed on the turning side uh, in particular, um, two years ago, Mac, it was about 6% of the inquiries that I was dealing with were had automation. Now we're nearer 35, 36%. So it's been a significant increase in the whole variety of automation that uh, we're putting to our machines. And in 2020, that's going to be even more, isn't it? I would suspect it's going to be even greater, yes. Uh, even potentially not even a, um, the operator being in the general area of the machine and more collaborative uh, robots as well. 